Hey, what's up guys, Benny here, and welcome to the second episode of How to Improve at Call of Duty. In the first episode, we took a look at how to improve your aim, and in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the best class setups to use, so let's get into it. So the first class that we're gonna be taking a look at is my bread and butter assault rifle class. This is the class I always go to if I wanna get the most amount of kills possible and help my team to win the game the best that I can. And it's using the M8A7 assault rifle, which in my opinion is the best assault rifle in the game. It's a four burst assault rifle. And if you handle four shots at close to medium range, it's gonna take them out straight away and two bursts at long range. It's absolutely ridiculous. On it, you're gonna to wanna to be using the red dot sight attachment because the iron sight isn't too good if I'm being honest. You're then gonna wanna have quick draw so you can get your gun up quicker to take out your opponents. And then you're gonna wanna be using rapid fire. Now, the reason I use rapid fire on a burst assault rifle is because it means that you're gonna be win those fraction second gunfights. So if someone else is using an M8A7 and you've got rapid fire and they don't, you're going to tend to win those gunfights, especially at long range. For your perks, you're gonna be wanting to run Ghost, uh, cause I always tend to try and stay off the radar, cause in public matches especially, UAVs are going up every few seconds, and if you've not got Ghost, you're gonna be killed a lot more often than without it. For perk two, you're gonna to wanna to use Fast Hands, it allows you to bring your gun up quicker, so you can win those gunfights when you're running around the map, trying to pick up as many kills as you can. And then for perk three, I always use Awareness. Now the reason I use Awareness is cause being able to hear your surroundings and hear where people are coming from is more useful than using your minimap. Yes, you can be tricked sometimes because people have got dead silence, which brings me on to the last perk that you're going to be using on this class, which is dead silence. And it is amazing in this game because it just makes you completely silent and when you're running around the map, no one can hear you. I also use a secondary, I use the Elkar 9 just so if I don't have time to reload, I can just whip it out, take someone out. Really, really powerful pistol, it's fully automatic. But if you want to help with your team with taking out score streaks and stuff like that, you can change that for like an XM53 or a Black Cell uh, launcher. They're also really, really good. But I personally always go for the L car because I'm trying to rack up as many kills as I possibly can. That is my first class. Definitely give it a go. So the second class that we're gonna be taking a look at is my submachine gun class. Now I tend to not use this as much as my assault rifle class because I always love using assault rifles, but it's still an absolute monster, especially if you're playing game modes like Hardpoint and you're trying to take those hard points, or if you're just playing a small map like Nuketown or Combine and you're just getting up close and personal. Now I always use the VMP, I think it's the best submachine gun. The CUDA is also ridiculous, but it's one of the things that I love about Black Ops 3 is the guns are really, really balanced. So you can kind of find your own personal preference but I would recommend using the VMP. I don't use an optic because the iron sight is really nice. Then run quick draw, which is like the bread and butter attachment because it's just so, so powerful and so useful. Uh, I then run grip just to kind of counter a bit of the recoil on the gun. It means that you can like do longer bursts, uh, especially if you're like right in someone's base. It's just a really, really good attachment to use. Uh, and then I use long barrel so I can help pick up kills at longer range. And then I kind of go for like my bread and butter kind of perk playlist in a sense, uh, which is ghost. Then I run fast hands once again, and then awareness and dead silence. It's just a really nice class to use. If you're gonna use that, it can help you get nuclears and really high streaks. Definitely give it a go. So the third class that we're gonna be taking a look at is a little bit controversial because there's been a lot of talk on Twitter, on Reddit, about it being a little bit overpowered, and that is the Gorgon Light Machine Gun. It is ridiculous. It's a two bullet kills at pretty much any range. So it means that if you just go they're dead. It's it's amazing. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to be using is a red dot sign because the iron sight is horrible. You're then gonna to wanna to use quick draw, obviously. Uh, then you're gonna to wanna to use grip to help control the recoil because it does have a little bit of recoil, but this kind of makes it like a laser beam. It's amazing. I can't, I can't, I genuinely can't recommend this class enough. And then as your final attachment, what you're gonna to wanna to use, I well, I use, is stock because it's quite unmobile. So if you can kind of aim down sights and then kind of move into like a head glitch or something, works beautifully, definitely use that. Then as my perks, I use a little bit different than my bread and butter perks because um, really you don't have the ability to run around the map. So you kind of want to try to be a portable sentry gun is the best way I think about it. So I use flak jacket so I can avoid survive those grenade throws. Then there's perk two, fast hands, obviously, even though that you're not going to really run around that much, it does help. And then perk three, use awareness. You can hear your own footsteps, but you won't be running around that much. But it means that like some kind of behind you, you should be able to hear them. Seriously amazing, definitely recommend this class, it's a monster.
Now, I know this class is something that a lot of you are going to be excited about because sniping is so much fun in Call of Duty. It's one of the most satisfying things that you can do. And you're going to be wanting to use the SPG 100. Sadly, it is the last sniper rifle you unlock. The Locust, however, is a close second if you haven't already unlocked it, so go for that. But the SPG is a one-shot kill anywhere above the hip. It's amazing and the one that I would definitely recommend using. You're going to want to be using the ballistic CPU to reduce the sway when you're looking down the scope. And then I use rapid fire so I can fire off more rounds on the sniper because it is a bolt rifle sniper. So it's like kudush. It's like a load of people are running at you without rapid fire you can't really take them out that quickly and then obviously we're going to be using a secondary because it's a sniper rifle i go with the lkr 9s again but it's a little bit different with this car setup because i use dual wield now if you could just run in and just take everyone out they are so so good um so definitely definitely use those as your secondaries then the bread and butter of the score streaks fast hands ghost awareness and dead silence my personal favorite setup for perks always works for me definitely give this one a go now it's time for my last class and i actually mentioned this class in the last episode of how to improve at call of duty and it's the gun that has some of the least recoil in the game and that's the icr1 assault rifle i love this gun to bits it reminds me of the acr from modern warfare 3. i don't use an optic on it because the iron sight is actually really really nice i then run quick draw obviously and then i run stock now i i kind of love the combination of stock and quick draw because it just it gives you the biggest amount of mobility you can so you can like weave in between doorways and you can win a lot more gunfights when people People aren't expecting you to move so quickly. Now you have two options here uh, for your third attachment. You can run the suppressor if you want to go complete full out stealth and like try and run behind the enemies uh, and then trying to figure out where to where you actually are, uh, which is really nice. But I tend to run long barrel because it's not the strongest assault rifle, but it just kind of gives an extra like kind of bit of welly to the gun. And then it's the bread and butter perks. It's going to be ghost. It's going to be fast hands. It's going to be awareness and it's going to be dead silent. It's amazing class. I love it to bits. Definitely give these, these a go if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Improve at Call of Duty. We'll be back soon with another episode. Make sure to subscribe for that and drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.